What is up, y'all? It's the Eric B, your stream teach here. And today we're going to be doing something that's a little bit basic if you're advanced or if you've been doing this streaming thing for a while. But if you're new to the process or maybe just moving over from another service, <coughs> Streamlabs, over to not using <coughs> Streamlabs, we can get into how to make an alert appear on your screen. Classes and session. maybe even have a chat box as well. Actually, there's no maybes about it. We're going to get into it. Class is in session. All right, so before we go into stream elements, what we're going to do first is go into our settings and we are going to check our resolution, specifically the base canvas resolution. And what that means is the canvas is what you see on the preview. The output is what the stream sees as their resolution. So I always have mine set to 1080p. If yours is set to 720p and you want to upscale it to 1080p, everything is going to be a fourth smaller on your screen and you're going to have to resize everything. So consider that before you change the base canvas resolution to 1080p. But that's my baseline. So once we know that we are going to go into stream elements, that's not it. Ah, that's my TikTok. That's not it. Ah, my Twitch page. That's not it. My merch store. Not it. Uh, my Twitter account. Not quite. All right. We go into stream elements. And once you sign into stream elements, you're going to go to your dashboard and you can sign in with Twitch, preferably. You kind of have to sign in with Twitch or whatever streaming service you use. On the left pane, if you don't see it, you can click on streaming tools and click on my overlays. From there, you're going to click on new overlay. And that base canvas resolution, that's what you want here. And again, since mine is 1080p, we're selecting 1080p. I am going to click add widget and we are going to add an alert box. The alert box has a lot of different things within it. So it does a lot of things at once. All your alerts, as the name implies. So you can do your follower alert, subscriber alert, tip alert, cheer alert, host alert, rate alert, and purchase alert, which I'm assuming is stream elements merch. Uh, you can all do from here. So we will keep it simple and do the follower alert first. So what we will do here is click on our settings wheel and we will give this an image and I have an image somewhere on my computer. These are all the streamers I shout out. I will show you the shout out tool at a future day. All right, let's pull one of my favorites. So we are going to upload and I'm just dragging and dropping here straight into the cloud. And once we have that, we will click submit and we can use this volume to turn our sound up or have it at 50%. Typically I do have this turned all the way up just to make sure I hear it. This layout shows how the text behaves with the image. So if you want it to be over the image, beside the image or below the image, you can do it that way. The alert message is whatever you want it to say. If you want to make it more of a brand for you, you can change this now following to something that's more applicable to you. The alert duration is how many seconds it appears on the screen. So what we are going to do is upload our sound and let's see if I can find something that will apply. And once we do, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the image, which is click upload, drag, drop and submit. So once we've done that, we will click the emulate bell down here and it does exactly what it says. And we're going to make sure it works by clicking emulate. We are clicking on the link icon up here and it says copy URL. And what we're gonna do is add a browser source. So we're clicking the plus sign, clicking browser, and I'm gonna name this alerts. Maybe you can name it alert box, whatever you want to. And what I'm gonna do here is make sure that this size matches the same canvas size so that that canvas size, the overlay size, as well as the browser source size are all the same. And in my case, that is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to click OK and that makes sure that it covers the entire screen. Now, what this shows you is basically 
what I'm telling you in the video. The browser source lets you display a web page from the internet or a local file and are commonly used for widgets and alerts and set the URL to the page you like to display. So I'm going to double click on that again because I should not have clicked out of it. And we are pasting that URL that we copied from stream elements right here. So I'm going to click OK and it should disappear that blue page because we just pasted the overlay. So now what I'm going to do is go back into stream elements as soon as my mouse wants to click it and I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it as subscribe to streamer school. It's very up oh, in school. Can't spell the irony anyway save so what i'm going to do is click that emulate button again and make sure that our guy from holes pops up and now that you see he has and that's our test alert there are other things that you can customize about the alert such as the color of the text which i always like to make sure it matches my brand so all my text matches on screen as well as all my colors match on screen just to be brand specific for the other alerts just rinse and repeat this process so the next thing we're going to do is add a chat box and you might want to have a chat box on your screen if you have anyone who might want to view your stream in full screen or if you want to post the stream elsewhere and have people know what the chat is saying while you're talking so we're going to click the plus sign in the bottom left corner and click on stream tools and then your streams chat and it does exactly what it says your streams chat in real time so you can have this wherever you want on the screen again this is a mirror of how your screen is going to look within obs so let's just say we want the on screen chat to appear in the bottom right corner we'll put it there and we will click save and then we go into obs and there's our chat box let's try to type in a very unambiguous text message by streamer school merch at the store.org and we will see if it appears in the chat and there it is and just like with the alert box you can change the properties of the chat if you want to have the text appear differently to fit your brand like i was suggesting before you can do exactly that and of course you can move it around anywhere you want and as long as you click save after you do it you go back into your obs and it will be where you placed it and like i said make sure you make your overlay your canvas and your browser source all the same size and continue to save 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 so that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process once you get into it and everything just kind of makes sense once you know the basics of it. So now you can go and do your thing, have your alerts, get all those subscribers and bits and donations. And if you want to give me any of that stuff, check me out at the Eric B on twitch.tv. But if you have any questions about anything I've said, feel free to either type it in my chat box that will be on screen at my stream or you can hit me up on Twitter or the comments below. Class dismissed. King got guap. He spoiled, man. Inherited that money. Say he's faster. He's, um, oh, sh <laughs> Hell Hell no.